We are the Alabama Cooperative Extension System, a part of the land-grant mission of Auburn University and Alabama A&M. Through a grassroots effort that's active in all 67 counties, we extend the knowledge, resources, and opportunities to the people of Alabama. Here are just a few examples. The world changed last year for 1,100 Lawrence County families when they learned International Paper would close and they would lose their jobs. Area Extension educators help those families create new futures. Working with International Paper, Extension developed training that helped them learn how to apply for jobs and ultimately reestablish their new pride in their ability to work. And, and that was a lot of the talking that we did was, how is what you as one individual employee do, how does that impact the overall operation? How do you fit into the whole operation? You know, how do you impact profit? How do you impact loss? How do you impact safety? And so it was a lot of, of, of again, pulling out the skills that I knew they had. It was great what they did. They, they spent countless hours out there helping people and uh, I think people realized what they had but they didn't you know it was hard to brag on yourself a lot of people got jobs because of what they did an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure that's the guiding principle extension applies to preserving water quality Cities and towns throughout Alabama are incorporating stewardship practices known as low-impact development in their lakes, ponds, and streams. As a result, cities are reaping vast, long-term cost savings. Where we would take stormwater that otherwise would be pushed very rapidly to a curb and gutter system and then immediately exported to a stream and slow that water down and allow it to soak in where we've got soils and native plants that are allowing that infiltrating stormwater to then be treated. Auburn city officials have worked closely with extension experts to develop a comprehensive stormwater management plan. It now serves as the standard for other Alabama communities. You know, we're, we're approached almost seemingly monthly by other uh, stormwater, you know, municipalities, uh, municipalities with stormwater programs in the state about things that we're doing uh, with our program and, and the feedback that we always get is always uh, extremely positive. Alabama Extension is on the leading edge of using wearable computers to revolutionize crop scouting and production. Last year, Extension used Google Glass to inspect cotton for diseases and insects. So when I think about wearable technologies like Google, what really gets me excited is the capacity to collect more data, more information, and being able to, with some of the analytical horsepower that we're developing, process that at a much faster rate, get information back to our constituents, growers here in the state, much quicker. Google Glass and other wearable computers will enhance farm efficiency and profitability, and with it, farmers will better manage the massive data generated by precision farming equipment. We're looking at a lot of different applications for Google Glass, and again, because we can see what the farmer sees, there are a lot of ways that we believe that we'll be able to bridge the gap between technology and what the farmer needs. And that's gonna happen a lot in assessment from pests, dealing with pests, dealing with problems. And a lot of times what you're trying to fix is a problem, whether it's a pest problem or too much water, not enough water. Being able to make those kinds of assessments right there in the farm in the field, I think Google Glass is really going to be helpful in those areas. Extension health and nutrition educators are working to address the growing problem of obesity. Dallas and Greene counties consistently rank among the five heaviest counties in the nation. The Eat Healthy, Be Active program focuses on eating healthy foods and adopting a healthy lifestyle. Giving people the knowledge empowers them to change the way they think about food, the way they eat food, the way they prepare food, even the way they buy food, which changes their overall health. It helps them to live longer.
Extension launched the Chilton Food Innovation Center, a fully equipped industrial kitchen that provides local farmers and entrepreneurs with technical assistance in food processing. Nat and Louise Barker have used this facility to manufacture barbecue sauce based on an old family recipe, one that Nat has tweaked and perfected for years. It's amazing how, uh, how much effort has been put into getting this place ready and getting it right. And that, that's what I like best about it, is I come in here, it is clean, it's spotless. Uh, every time we've been here, the health department has come by and checked us out and made sure everything we were doing was, was correct. I love being able to see other people's dreams fulfilled almost as much as they do. You can see their joy when they uh, realize this is really going to work. We can really do this. Where they've probably been thinking about it um, probably years. Regional Extension Agent Diana Simpson works to protect seniors against identity theft, a crime which seniors are especially vulnerable. Um, they do target seniors. Uh, of course, it happens more in uh, when the economy is bad, but they will target seniors at any time because apparently our seniors are more gullible. Simpson uses old-fashioned storytelling to explain how seniors can be cheated, even by people who look and sound completely trustworthy. Auburn University senior Azim Ahmed is one of the nation's premier students, a Truman Scholar, and the recipient of the 2014 President William Jefferson Clinton Hunger Leadership Award. It's a singular honor presented to only one university student worldwide each year. But Azim's first claim to fame was securing a place for the National 4-H flag aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavor in 2009. Azim started on his path of achievement as an Alabama 4-H member. When I first joined 4-H, I was a really shy little kid, um, and I used to hide behind my parents, literally even in the meetings. Um, and by the time I had left 4-H, I remember I gave the, like, the closing address at the USDA headquarters in Washington, D.C., um, in front of about three or 400 people, including folks from President Obama's cabinet. Um, so it was quite a transformation in just a few years to have gone from that little kid who just used to hide behind his parents to being the keynote speaker um, on behalf of 4-H at the National Conference in 2009. Ahmed has devoted his undergraduate career at Auburn to alleviating hunger. The Clinton Award was presented for his work as a World Food Program intern, helping to develop a national food program in Egypt. My job was to actually go around and talk to rice mill owners and rice, rice growers about fortifying the rice. Um, and while I was there, I was actually able to certify enough mills to produce rice for about 14 million people um, with vitamins added. A better tomorrow. That's what we offer. We are the Alabama Cooperative Extension System.